Sure, we're going to start with Janet St. James in Grapevine. I mean, look at the colors. Yeah. Look at, I mean, just look at those clouds, those mid and high mm. level clouds there. Look at the texture on this one. Alan Ackles, he sends me pics uh, every so often. He's in Saxe, Purdy in Saxe. It was, Alan. Thanks for the pick tonight. Uh, Mike Hull in Midlothian. I mean, aren't these pictures great? Yeah. I just oh, love this. Here's another one for you. Ooh, Keith Lopez. That's cool. Where's this one? Oh, Truck Ferris. Alliance. Save Ferris. <laughs> I like that. The truck yard a lot. I mean, my gosh, just a gorgeous picture. And then here's one, uh, Dar uh, Dawn Arispe, I think. Uh, that's a pretty one right there over that uh, that that pond. And here's Ooh, another one, look uh, at that. Frank Nisgoda, uh, Lake Tawakini. Wow. Here's here's one for you, Cynthia. Here's my last oh, one. That's my favorite one. Andrea wow. Rodriguez. It's in Lake Highlands. Yeah. How about wow, that? Look at that. Is that a gorgeous one? That's so pretty. I want to frame it and put it in my house. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a really, I like that. Tell the, everybody that's your daughter. <laughs> yeah. The colors, the texture. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. So my thanks to everyone for sending those in. So, okay. So here's the question. So how do we get these kind of colors at sunset? Well, obviously you have to have, the sun's got to be low in the sky, right? And so the particles in the atmosphere, they filter out the shorter wavelengths like blue and green. So we have that happening. And because of this, only the longer wavelengths like red and yellow or orange make it to our eyes. And when you have, remember those mid and high level clouds I talked about? When you have those types of clouds around, they reflect this light and it just enhances the colors. I mean, we truly, I, I can't tell you the last time I saw a sunset here that was that pretty. And uh, we certainly had all the ingredients in place for that tonight.